morning and howdy. My name is Henry Chigi and welcome to my Wednesday morning leadership videos. I believe that a coaching style of leadership with foundations built on trust, integrity, and respect for all people contributes tremendously to create a world that works for all of us. Thank you for being part of making that vision a reality. These free videos and free blogs are part of my expression of my commitment and passion to that vision. I'm very happy you've chosen to be part of my tribe and are doing your part to make our joint vision real. My goal here is to help you build your company and your team to create outstanding results in a way that is both gentle on your people and ruthless on the challenges that they and you face. Today, I'll be sharing with you some thoughts about how to make purpose real for your business. We hear a lot these days about finding or discovering our purpose. I talked in past episodes, even about creating your purpose. However, today I wanna to talk about purpose from the point of view of your company and its success. A recent Harvard Business Review article reminded me that there are three key areas where purpose may exist for your company. First, a social cause. Second, an ability to run the business well. And third, a cornerstone of your marketing effort. 90 plus percent of the companies I work with find their purpose in the culture, the organization, and the quality of the product or service they provide. Defining your purpose as embedded in culture, as operating in a thoughtful, disciplined, ethical manner can both be pragmatic and genuine. As an example, consider Mars, a family owned consumer packaged goods company, which in 2019 unveiled its first purpose statement in more than 100 years of operation. The world we want tomorrow starts with how we do business today. While this expresses aspiration for a better future, its focus is on the how of the company's culture, specifically its five principles. I love how they say these. We put the five principles at the center of every decision we make. This means we are committed to the quality of work and contributions to society. We are committed to how we embrace our responsibility as individuals and a company to act now. We base decisions on mutuality of benefit to our stakeholders. We harness the power of efficiency to use our resources to maximum effect. We have the financial freedom to make our own decisions unrestricted by motivations of others. We know that what we do is only as good as how we do it. And our actions help us build a better world for generations to come. Let me read that again. I love that sentence. We know that what we do is only as good as how we do it. And our actions help us build a better world for generations to come. It is my understanding that these were first published in 1983. I have placed a link below the video where you can easily access not only these, but also five principles in each of these five areas, quality, responsibility, mutuality, efficiency, and freedom. I think you will receive great value from that link. I know I do. I also think you will find specific interest that the output of a business roundtable in 2019 that described the purpose of a corporation as an economy that serves by meeting the needs of five groups of stakeholders. Those five are customers, employees, suppliers, communities, and shareholders. That brings me back to the purpose for most business owners is to run their business well by developing and creating leaders and employees, providing what their customers most value. The goal of all companies is to attract and retain client, satisfy customers, and do business in a way the company retains its license to 
to operate in the eyes of the community and regulators, consistent with making an adequate return on investment, consistent with the business risk. There are two key things I would like you to take action on today. First, take some time and really think about what is the purpose of your business and then write that down. Take some notes, make it real. And then second, check to see if you might have a lack of alignment between how you behave and what you said above. Want help with getting clear about your business's purpose? Schedule a free discovery session below. Leadership matters. It especially matters to you and all the folks in your life. Please consider that success is nothing more than a few small disciplines practiced every day. And failure is simply a few errors in judgment repeated daily. Bye-bye for now.